Hello everybody and welcome to my vlog experience at the TCS Amsterdam Marathon, 26.2 miles in my favorite city in Europe. Well, walking through the tunnels here to the uh, airport after hitting up the, uh, the Marathon Expo here in Amsterdam, getting ready to run the uh, full Amsterdam Marathon. Initial goal was about four hours or under. We'll see, feeling a little tired. Hopefully I can stretch a little bit, open up the hips and uh, make this goal happen. But if not, well, you know, another marathon off the list. So kind of walk you through things, show you some footage from the expo, show you the setup and then, uh, you know, start off tomorrow and hope things go well. So see you later. So when approaching the expo from the Amstelveen uh, metro station, um, this was kind of thing, there was a little bit of a line to get in, but it wasn't too long and it moved pretty rapidly here at the uh, sport hall. Obviously it was well marked, there was a line of people so you kind of knew where to go. And there was a lot of music and everything else. This is the initial uh, registration hall, it was a little cramped, the lines were kind of intermixed, but there was one thing about it I'd probably say they probably need a little bit more room. And overall, the expo was just a garden variety expo, a lot of great stuff on sale, none of it of which I really needed. But overall, there was a lot of good stuff there that people might want to walk through. So if you're somebody that likes to buy stuff at expo, it's good for you. But for me, I already had everything I needed, so it was pretty much just a walkthrough. And looking at the setup, this is the bag I have. Um, got my uh, science and sport gels, I love those things. Um, my typical bandana, my Oakleys my top and my new balance sleeves my number of course which you can see and my black shorts um, now obviously i had to change up a little bit of this and my blue altus for wide feet which i have and i love those shoes that's why i don't wear the uh night well it's the morning of the race and it's about 6 45 getting ready to hit the uh metro get to the stadium get a good run in well warm up in Ugh. I don't think I can take any more bread or carbs, but just in case I get a little bit hungry before the race. <sighs> Hips a little tight. Let's see if they survive 26.2 or just turn this into a fun run very early. It's marathon day, people. So I'll keep you updated on the journey. Get out there to the stadium and, uh, you know, get things rolling. So finally on the way to the stadium after getting off the metro after a rather convoluted route here that took me about an hour. Yeah, it's about 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Minor drizzle. Might have to make some wardrobe changes here based on the weather. But we'll see. Can't believe I'm doing this. Could be fun. Well, just walking into uh, Olympic Stadium here. Gonna hopefully find something nice and warm to drink. Maybe get a good wardrobe change in. Maybe switch over to a shirt. Put my number on that. And then uh, maybe get a little bit of jogging and start stretching before the uh, things start kicking off at 9 o'clock. Well, here at Olympic Stadium. The skies have definitely opened up a bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and get inside and try to warm up as best I can. And still undecided on the wardrobe, but we'll see what happens. Oh, it's really opening up. Pacers. Hoping the rain stays a little off, but the atmosphere is pretty awesome though. Nice dude. 
I've never felt this unprepared for a run before, despite all the preparation I've done. Well, let's see what happens. Well, we're beginning to push forward, about to get this thing kicked off. And the skies have cleared magically. Let's hope it stays that way. And a special welcome to all 131 participating countries. And the top 10 in the amount of competitors I will share with you on number 10 is the USA. I always do kind of run better in colder weather, so uh, who knows? Maybe this one is good. Thing. Yeah, we're running through the park. First mile is about an 847. So, just gotta keep things between 8.40 and 9 for about the next uh, 7 to 10 miles. Hold myself back, don't go too fast. Try to save as much as I can. Two and a half miles in. Gonna take the hat off, grab some water in a gel, and get back to you. Okay, about four and a half miles in. One energy gel down. Good consistent mileage. About 840 every mile. I'll get back to the LS7, still feeling pretty good. Well, about seven and a half in, out of the most of the part of the major city, and getting ready to get into some really scenic spots. So, looking forward to it. Pace still good. Right hip stiffened up a little bit, but overall, still feeling pretty good. Still on pace. Gotta love the crowds here. Well, Start raining again. But on the good news, getting the more scenic part, we're running next to the end style right here. Things are starting to break up in the crowd. Still feeling pretty good, pace is still good. Okay, past the turnaround point. Got to head back down the other side of the Amstel at 11 miles. Check out 12. So, almost at the halfway point. Still feeling good. We can see a little, see a little turn there. Ring kind of stopped, so that's good. Just gotta keep grinding. Hit an official halfway point. Half left. Oh, it's sixteen miles. 10 to go, back in the city. 10 more miles, still on good pace. Legs getting a little tired. Well, this turned into a fun run about three miles ago. 
start walking and running. Hips, thighs, everything just kind of tensed up. So, not gonna make the PR, just trying to finish at this point. And running the stadium with my head high. Uh, well, just about three miles to go. My legs have almost completely failed. Just had to stop and stretch them. No matter what my time is, I'm just going to be proud to get across the finish line. And just kind of have fun on my way there. Well, past the last water point. Just going to try and run it out and ride the struggle bus to the finish, so we'll see how it goes. But, good crowd and close to the finish. towards the finish here. About 400 meters to go. Seventy-five meters away. We see hurting people, but they're still finishing. Sixteen fifty-five, baby. Four sixteen fifty-five. I don't believe it. I made it. All the most painful marathon I've ever run. Thank God, Should we begin Well, it wasn't the time I wanted. It's my third marathon, I think it's safe to say. My last. It's great, but I can only do it my body will allow. Good train up, everything else, so. It's the last and I have no regrets, man. I gave it all I had. Had a great time and I'll, I'll come back with a more detailed uh, rundown here. Go grab my mouth, show you guys a little bit of the uh, after party. Ugh, but, man. It wasn't easy, most painful marathon I've ever run, but made it through. That's all you can really say, man. That's all you can really say. So. So to kind of close things out, this is my impression of the Amsterdam Marathon. First off, Amsterdam is my favorite city in Europe. While things might not have ended the way I wanted it to, it still ended, and I had no regrets about participating. It's a beautiful city, it's a very scenic route, there's a lot to see there and there's a lot to enjoy. Um, the crowds were great, they would see the name on your number and call your name out encouraging you, which was awesome. And the only other thing that I could wish for was Probably a little bit wider haul to pick up your numbers in because the lines kind of in mix, got a little bit confused. And well, the weather, of course, which nobody had any control over. So 
please, if you are looking to run a marathon in Europe, I would definitely suggest Amsterdam. It's really flat, it's really scenic, and it is just an overall beautiful city. So, thank you for watching. And please, if you are considering doing a marathon in the future, and you are planning on going to Europe, please visit Amsterdam. It is a legit city that you will not re regret visiting. So, thank you very much. I said this was my last marathon, but no, it's my last. There's no chance anybody can talk me into doing another. Maybe. Maybe some other day. We'll see. But thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe to the channel.